Good evening. I'm Carmelita Ong, the commentator. Our readings today remind us that God's laws are not meant to be a burden, in, but to be a source of life and wisdom. And it is not enough that we hear God's word, but that we meant to put it into practice as well. This is a danger that we all face to honor God with our lips and not our hearts. So as we gather today, let us ask God's spirit to help us give God the Father the kind of worship that will honor him and transform our lives. Our presider for this Mass is Father Dan. Please stand and let us begin. Our opening song is number 732, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, number 732. We gather in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, as we gather, we turn to the Lord and we recognize we need his help. Not only for ourselves, our world needs him. And so we come before him seeking his grace, his help, but also his pardon for any faults, any failures. We ask the good Lord for pardon for ourselves and for the sins of our world. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the Thanks for your 
take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He will to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the word. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat anything without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. From within, people from their hearts, from within people, from their hearts come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile the gospel of the Lord. Well, what makes you special? What makes you unique? What makes you stand apart from others. While we obviously look different from each other, and we may have different histories, different backgrounds, education, hopes, and dreams, nonetheless, what do you feel makes you special? In the Bible, the word they use to describe someone different, someone set apart, from others is holy. To be holy means to be unique and not simply ordinary or not simply common. The Pharisees in Jesus' time would use the word common to describe Jews who would break the Jewish purity laws, such as not having washed their hands before eating or not observing the Sabbath. We, too, when we use the word common to describe someone, it carries oh, a little slight connotation of mediocrity, right? So we would say, oh, so-and-so, he's common, right? He's, there's nothing special about that person. He's common, hmm. mediocre, below par. In today's gospel, Jesus used the word used the encounter with the Pharisees to challenge their notion of what makes a person holy. For the Pharisees, what sets a person apart is their observance of the law. And although someone who observes the law should be commended for it is a laudable act, as we heard in today's first reading, however, by the time of Jesus, the ritual observance of the law had been perverted. There is superficial observance of the law without the accompanying interior change of the heart. In essence, Jesus is saying to them, what good is if you wash your hands, yet your hearts are full of malice, greed, arrogance, and deceit? 
So Jesus helps his listeners to refocus on what will set them apart, on what will make them holy and pleasing to God. Keep not only the ritual observance of the law, but accompany it with an interior change of heart. Honor God with both our lips and our hearts. You know, back when I was growing up, there was a Keebler cookie commercial. In the commercial, an elf asked, do you know where the goodness of the Keebler cookie comes from? And he answers, from you, of course. And the commercial continues in a song, and it shows a scene. When enemies disagree and get along quite cordially, or when you show kindness even to the tiniest of creatures. So this elf is explaining, one of our elves is out there and sees the goodness that you do and captures it and then adds it to the ingredient that they use to bake the cookies. And they continue, for the way they see it, it's a win-win, so delicious so scrumptious. And that's how Keebler cookies are uncommonly good. <laughs> Interesting. What makes a cookie good? It's those acts that you do that are good. We capture it, we place it in the ingredients, and we bake it, and that's how the cookie is uncommonly good. Uncommonly good is another way of saying out of the ordinary, set apart, holy. In a sense, the simple commercial with the recipe for cookies is also the recipe for us to be holy, right? In today's second reading, St. James teaches the people how religion can be pure, undefiled, and pleasing to God. He wrote, care for orphans and widows, and keep oneself unstained by the world. And in the gospel, Jesus adds, be kind, be compassionate and forgiving, be a peacemaker, a reconciler, a healer, stand for justice. Now, in a world that is divisive, in a world where we label each other, judge and condemn each other, all the more, we need people that stands out, that are set apart from others, that are uncommonly good and holy. So welcome the Spirit of God in our hearts. Allow the Spirit to shape us, to love us, transform us, guide us, heal us, that we may please God in all things and be uncommonly good. Amen. And so to this God who calls us to our better selves, to him let us renew our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We lift our prayers to our God, who plants truth in our hearts. For Pope Francis, bishops and pastors, that they may exercise wisdom in shepherding their flock according to the commandments of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, that they may have the humility to listen to the voice of the people and the courage to make decisions for the true good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those facing trials and hardships, that they may know the presence of God in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose faith is weak, who are unsure whether to stay or leave, that their faith may be strengthened by God's grace and by those around them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, especially Bishop Daniel Walsh, Laverne Flontini, Daniel Linhart, Daniel Echeverry, and Peter Bala, that they find comfort and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Yvonne Marty, Shen Wu, those who died by violence, as well as those who mourn them, that they find peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass is being offered for the people of the parish and Martha Malmeister. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, the universe is the work of your hands. Inspired by your spirit, we ask for your bounty in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The song for the preparation of the gifts is number 617, Come to the Water, number 617.
pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just for our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks. He set the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross. He took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread,
careful as we celebrate the memorial of your son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming. We offer you who are faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As children of the one Father, together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us off to each other with sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
communion song is number 357, Ang Katawan Ni Cristo, Behold the Body of Christ. We gather here in Christ, feel the Spirit breathe upon us, the breath of life, grace, and divine. We have come to break the bread. We have come to share our lives. Let us bring these fruits to the table. to share the meal we are fed the words of our Savior the family strengthened and healed on Catawani Cristo on Catawani Cristo behold Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we have a few announcements. Uh, you may be seated. Our second collection this Sunday is for the Archdiocese of Military Services. Although the military provides for chaplains, but they don't pay for the programs such as religious education for children or the training of seminarians and deacons. Your gift will enable this Archdiocese to continue its service around the world. Ashers, you may now take up the collection. Thank you for your generosity. 
as school is starting up again, we invite public school students to sign up for Sunday school. Next Sunday will be the first day of Sunday school. Or if you're an adult that is curious about our faith, or if you are an older, an old timer and want to refresh your faith, or if you like to complete confirmation or First Holy Communion, we invite you to our RCIA program. Please see our bulletin or call the office for more information. Thanks, Carmelita. Thank you also to our musicians for enriching our worship. And for our faithful server, although she's a new server, we usually pair them with the seasoned server. And although she was a new server, she did excellent. Good job. <laughs> as well as our lectors, Eucharistic ministers, our ushers, and uh, commentators. So thank you all for your ministry. Please stand, and so may the Lord be with you. And your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is in it. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 391, City of God, 391. daughters of day.